myself dr deepak and today we are going to learn about the aqueous humor so first of all we draw the diagram of eyeball here is the cornea then sclera optic nerve here then the middle port choroid ciliary body iris choroid ciliary body and iris then in the inner side of the choroid there is a retina here is a optic nerve this area is known as a optic disc here is a macular lutea okay now in the ciliary body there are the ciliary processes ciliary processes are here the suspensory ligaments are attached with these ciliary processes here are the suspensory ligaments and finally they are attached with the lens okay let me name first it is the lens there are the suspensory ligaments Okay. Then the retina. First of all, the sclera. It is the cornea. Choroid. Retina. Macula. Lutea. optic nerve okay so these all structures so aqueous humor aqueous humor it is a clear fluid which is located into the anterior segment of the eyeball so now what is the anterior segment so the part anterior to the lens this hole this hole cavity it is known as a anterior segment it is known as anterior segment whereas the part posterior to the lens this whole area this whole cavity is known as the posterior segment okay in this posterior segment there is a vitreous body is present so the aqueous humor it is a clear fluid which is located into this anterior segment but this anterior segment is further divided into the anterior chamber and the posterior chamber through the iris so here it is iris okay this iris is divided the anterior segment in the two parts the part in between the cornea and the iris this is the area okay this area it is known as the anterior chamber but the part in between the iris and the lens is this area okay this yellow area it is known as the posterior chamber okay so what is the anterior segment what is the anterior chamber and what is the posterior chamber so the all the space between the cornea and the lens it is the anterior segment but it is further divided due to the iris in the two parts 
the part entered into the iris it is the interior chamber and posterior to the iris and lens it is uh, in between the iris and lens it is a posterior chamber so this anterior segment it is filled with the aqueous humor whereas the posterior segment it is filled with the vitreous body or vitrea vitreous humor so the uh, aqueous humor is present into the anterior segment now how it is uh, uh, how the circulation of the aqueous humor is occurs so the aqueous humor is formed by the capillary present into the ciliary processes these are the ciliary processes okay so the capillary present into the ciliary processes are produce the aqueous humor and that aqueous humor is goes from this area to the posterior chamber then from the posterior chamber they go to the anterior chamber through this opening and this opening it is known as the pupil so through the pupil there is a free movement of a uh, aqueous humor into the anterior and the posterior chambers okay then in, uh, from the aqueous humor is drained from the anterior chamber by the anterior ciliary veins okay anterior ciliary veins are present here Uh, in the relation of the ciliary body, they are present here. The anterior ciliary veins. The anterior ciliary veins are present here, and these veins are open into the anterior chamber through a one canal, and this canal is known as the canal of Slam. What canal of Slam? if we see this area so please look like that here is a cornea sclera iris ciliary body okay so here is a one vein it is the anterior ciliary vein and this anterior ciliary veins is open through a one canal and this canal it is known as a canal of slam the canal of slam is opened actually due to this angle of anterior chamber this is known as a angle of anterior chamber so this angle of anterior chamber is due to it is a space in between the iris and the cornea okay the iris and the cornea but if due to some condition if the can and uh, angle of anterior angle of anterior chamber is decreases so the canal of slam is become closed and the drainage of aqueous humor is not possible which cause the increased intraocular pressure and this increased intraocular pressure this condition it is known as a glaucoma due to the increased intraocular pressure there is a cupping of the optic disc and there is a pressure atrophy in the retina okay pressure atrophy of the retina and the cupping of the optic disc and due to this the blindness the patient is become blind okay so the condition of glaucoma is must be treated as an emergency okay so this is the pathology this pathological condition can be uh, related with the aqueous humor so the aqueous humor is responsible for the pressure intraocular pressure and is drainage is done through this canal of slam the canal of slam is open due to the angle of anterior chamber but due to some pathological condition if the end, uh, angle of anterior chamber is decreases or uh, is closed so the canal of slam is also closed and the drainage is not possible and it will create the increased intraocular pressure and this condition it is known as a glaucoma okay now the composition of the aqueous humor so the aqueous humor is composed mainly by the three structures they are the ascorbic acid
then the amino acid and glucose okay the main composition of the aquasimmer are the ascorbic acid the amino acid and the glucose and what is its function it is actually nourishes the cornea and the lens the cornea it is also a vascular structure and lens is also a vascular structure so the nourishment of the cornea and, and, and lens is uh, is done by the aqueous humor so here the theory of aqueous humor is completed this uh, you must have to remember about the is clinical condition glaucoma uh, which is more common in the eye problems okay so thank you thank you very much